Now then, M207 owners, look what's arrived today. All in's bad boy. I'm gonna give a go trying to fit it by myself. What I've done is, I'll show you a bit with the camera angle. Put it on the paddock stand, micron. Uh, and I've also, obviously you can't just over it on the paddock stand to take the shock out because it'll all sort of collapse. So I've strapped it with a strap to roof my shed. Just took it off the paddock stand to see if I've got any sort of wiggle room and the paddock stand's there literally to sort of catch it if it falls. Because uh, sometimes I don't like, yesterday I had an issue with the front forks where the stand had slipped a little bit and it sort of slipped out of position. Uh, first things first, I've got 5mm Allen key, I'm going to check the uh, mud guard thingy off, chain guard as well. Right, one here, bolt here, and the bolt just came out of the peg, I believe, and I think that comes off. Get in there to get that. No. This one will come off nice and easy. One little spacer on it. What I have to do here then is I might have to just move this out of the way with a four mil. Four mil. Just slacken that off. Got. Just get the foot guard out of the way, it makes it a bit easier to access that anti bolt there. There you go, yet again. Right. Little spacers on them bolts lot. I'm trying not to lose them, sort of rattles it round. Uh, right. On the other side, how does that come up? Is it a plug or what? Let's have a look. There's an out there. I can't physically see anything. Right. Can't really see out. I'll just have a look on the other side. Yeah, it must just pop up on a pop or something, does it? in there. Can't quite get it. Uh, screw down that. Screw down the back of that. Pop it off. Yeah, there you go, popper. There you go, there's a popper. I'll show you that one in a minute. And then a popper on the front there. Like so. Right. Back round again. Popper on the inside. And a popper on the front corner. One there. One there, just on the other side. Quite awkward to get to, but you can get to them with a bit of force. Obviously, pull that out, push it back in, and it sort of opens it up, holds it on. Right, to one side. You can see in here, bottom bolt, preload on the later model. This is an 18 plate. Uh, the earlier ones don't have the preload adjuster on it. Uh, I think it's a 15mm socket either end, let's have a look. Lying, 14mm. Oh, it's going to take some leverage that, quite tight. I think you're gonna have to get a 14mm either side. So again, trusty Alfred's advanced spanners. I'm quite 
quite sure that I've sort of took the weight off that enough. But that'll come loose. the bottom one. I believe the top is 14 mil as well. Right. Bit awkward to get to the side. What I'm going to do is then get another socket 14 mil with an extension bar. <coughs> 14 mil one side, 14 mil the other. One of them, once you start it going, it'll go right and wander to the other side. Can't quite get in that side. Right. Could do with someone else really on this side to help me, but I think we'll get it. She's done. Right. Now, got the nut off. Nut off one side, and the bolt's coming through. As easy as that. Right, let's have a look at a standard shock. All ends. Right. Uh, identical sort of fitting as I said just swap like for like what an absolute doddle uh, again I think if you can't strap it up you'd be sort of scuppered really but let's have a look right he goes in there What I have to do is sort of jack the top up to put the bottom bolt in. Really awkward to get that adjuster screw. Really awkward. Uh, you can't mount it the other way because you'll never get to it. The adjuster screws right in the very top of there. Right in the very top of there. Uh, what you what I think I might have to do is get it's a Allen key bolt, so I might get a normal Allen key. And cut it down so it's a tan out of key, you might be able to get in. Uh, it's a little bit taller by the looks of it, the actual spring. Alright, let's see if I might have to jack it up a little bit. Right. Yeah, jacked it up a little bit, the bolt should go straight through now with a little bit of jiggling. Yeah, yeah, absolute doddle. Right, I'll show you. Bottom bolt onto the linkage, 
top bolt up there onto the linkage. Right, again, I don't do torque settings, I do sort of tighten it up. You can sort of gauge it, it's, it's not hard. I wouldn't have thought so. Worst case scenario, it's going to fall off. Right, where's my socket? Leave it around to the other side. Yeah. Socket. Right. Right, so I do it. Just a little mug like that, that's it. And she's done. Nut. Again, around the other side. Bit of gynecology, you can feel it, feel it where the end is. And she's on, straight away. Wind it as much as you can with your fingers, makes it a bit easier. Right, put him on there. Put him on there. Tighten away. There you go. Simple as that. Oh, that's my socket. That's it fitted. What an absolute doddle. You can just tell by the quality of this. This isn't a bad thing, to be honest. It's just that the dampens in it's rubbish, M207. And when you ride them a little bit sort of exuberantly, they, uh, they suffer a bit. So, we'll go for that. Again, once the hugger thing's on, <laughs> the hugger thing there, you can't even get to the adjuster at the bottom. Yeah, you're gonna struggle getting to that adjuster. Uh, so, is it worth me putting this thing on now? Yes, I'm going to pop it on because I'll, I'll sort of set it. I'm assuming I bought it used for 325 quid delivered. I didn't think it was bad because the 520 quid ish new, but it's mint as you can see, it's in mint condition. And I'm assuming, apart from my weight, uh. If you're buying one of these, you sort of know what you're doing. You, you, you're riding a, a little bit quicker than you normally would. So uh, I'm assuming it's sort of set up all right. So we'll go for the first ride like that. Then what I'll do is I'll set it middle settings right through the board. So if it's got like 10 clicks, set it to five. Same on the bottom, set it to five and work either way from that. See what I like. And that's it basically. Thank you.